So, hi everyone, we're back here today. You can see with all the Spider-Man masks. Now here's the Symbiote mask. This is gonna be an updated. So you can see that the zipper on the back of the mask itself. And then also on the back of the Insomniac mask. Okay, so we're gonna be adding a zipper on the back. And also we're gonna be thinning down the chin piece. Okay, so you can just see the zipper on the back of the masks. Now before, you can go and check out my previous videos. And they all show the masks without the zipper like those. But here we are here, you'll need your glue gun and some Lycra fabric. Now that is L-Y-C-R-A. But this is how it fits right now. You can see, I'll just zip it down the back. And this tightens around all in my neck and gives my chin that nice definition. Okay, so what you're going to do is you can go and watch my previous videos and show how to make a mask. But I quickly show right now, and we're going to just put a zipper on the back and thin in the chin piece. Okay guys, so here we go. And we're just going to use some Lycra fabric. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, it's just really want to get this information into people. So like previously guys, if you've watched the videos, you'll take your Lycra fabric and you're going to lay it out and fold it in half. So this is going to be getting two sides, but what I'm going to do is just cut the same side to show you. So I just put my mask down. Now the measurements are going to be 20 centimeters across your face. So that's 20 centimeters from your ears to ear. And then it's going to be 30 centimeters from the middle of your head. Okay, so 30 centimeters down the way and 20 centimeters across the way. Now those are the measurements and those will fit and virtually fit all throughout people. But here you can just see I just lay down the mask base, cut out two sides of the same shape and this is just so I can sew and glue these together and I will get my nice mask base. So guys you'll just see me what I do right now, I have many other process videos like this. Okay, Just make sure that the sizes are matched up and both are the same size. Once you do that just place them both on top of each other and start to glue around the sides. Now you'll want to get that nice curve around your head, so please watch where you're putting the glue, do not be putting too much. And also hot glue is hot, so please be careful. You can just see now I get that nice curve going around my head and right down the sides like so. Please do not put too much glue because we are going to be going over these lines with some sewing. Okay, so just get your glue sticks. And here we are guys with the mask. So now guys, this is for your eye lenses. You can use cardboard, EVA foam, plastic, anything you want. I'm using Peltex, and this can be found in a Hobby Lobby, uh, in Walmart, in the US, or just check out your local stores. But again, you can use cardboard or EVA foam. What I do is I start to draw my eye frame shape. Now this can be any design you want, the Scarlet Spider, the Symbiote Spider, Amazing Spider-Man, Civil War. You can basically do any kind of spider design with this technique. So just start to draw your eye frame and then draw out the outer eye frame. Okay, so that's going to thin it up and give you a nice thin black layer like so. And remember guys that the inside of your eye shape will actually determine how your mask looks. So if you give your Spider-Man an angry look, if you give your Spider-Man a big white eye look, I'm going more for the comic style. But this can be done and used for virtually all Spider-Man eye designs. So you'll just draw and cut out your design using cardboard or EVA foam. And then what you're going to do is you're going to actually cut another layer and tone this, okay? So you'll see what I do right now, guys, and you can go and watch my previous videos on either the 2099, the Spider-Man Noir, or the Spider-Man Civil War. Okay, guys? Now this part is optional, I am adding another layer, that is another lens frame onto my eye frame. So this is actually going to make those more definitive, it's going to make them stand out more. As I say I'm going for the comic style, you can do whatever you want. But again I'm just drawing a bigger eye lens shape than my previous one so that I can glue, as you can see, place the bottom one onto the top of it. So here I just draw out the same shape and then draw a slightly bigger shape than my previous eye frame. You can see the size difference in both just start to cut those out 
Now, for to actually cut in the inner eye frame shape itself, you will want to make a cut into the eye frame, like so, and then just start to cut around the inside. Okay, and I don't worry that cut that you just made there, you're going to be gluing that back together with the glue gun, like so. Okay, so you can just see right now, I place some glue on where I cut, place both sides back together, and this helps just the mask sit back together perfect. Okay, so you can see I have a much bigger eye frame, like so. I place over my smaller eye frame that I showed you, and this is going to give those eye lenses much more definition. It's going to make them stand out more, and also just layer them up like they are part of an armor piece or something. But you can go with the one layer design or the one tone design. It is completely up to you guys. This is just how I want to do it. So as always, I wrap my pieces in some toned fabric. You can see my both white Paltac pieces. And then I show you my pieces wrapped in the black fabric. Now I do this, you can watch previous many of my other videos. I just wrap all my armor pieces in the black fabric using a hot glue gun. This helps give them the tone and texture that they need, guys. You can use spray paint or color them in colored tape, anything that works. So, hi everyone. You can see we are just back here with the lenses right now. I just shown you uh, that I wrapped my lenses in the black fabric, okay? So the outer frames are now glued together, both frames. Again, as I say, you can have one or two frames, even three, any amount of layers to your eye lenses. But I've just used the metal mesh, okay? Now I've said this in many videos, and I just showed you this previously. This is the oven mesh used in ovens or cookers for the raising steam to raise up. You can use fabric mesh. Uh, you can use anything that you can basically see through and yeah, this is metal So it has like a silver metal tone to it and also it has a nice shine to it So if the, when the light hits it, you can see it has a nice sheen to it and I went for the bigger style eye lenses Okay, so these are more comic style eye frames I was gonna wrap this in the white fabric, but you can see it just goes as one cohesive piece and it looks so good, I can fully see through this, so as you get a good visibility through that. If the light moves, okay, now let's move the light. So you can see me, and you can see everything through this, okay, this is fully visible. Uh, this is just really shitty camera. So thank you everyone for watching, you can watch all my other videos for eye lenses. Okay, I have done many videos for different eye lenses, eye masks and stuff. But what we're going to do now is do the updates, which is take it in here at the chin, put a zip onto the back. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Here we are. Since I didn't get this part recorded last time properly guys, you're going to want to outstretch your mask onto either a mannequin head or something big like a sturdy box or a sturdy bag just to outstretch the fabric and get the fibers of the fabric itself stretched out into position. So what you're going to do is then get your eye lenses once your mask is stretched out and start to glue around the inner frames. Okay, so you'll glue around the inner frames and place those onto your mask itself. Now you'll want to make sure that they are placed exactly right, that the eyes are pointed in the right diagonal points. And yeah, everything needs to match up because Spider-Man's design is pretty iconic and his mask is pretty symmetrical. But just start to press down hard and hold the eye lens and the eye frame down onto the mask itself. Please, I do not recommend gluing this onto your face while wearing the mask. You could burn yourself severely. So, hi everyone, this is the mask that I just showed and glued the eye lenses to. Okay, you see these are big, giant comic style eye lenses. But the update that we are going to do is actually thin it in here around the chin piece and also add in a zip at the back, like so. Okay, so it's going to tighten up all around the neck piece. You can wear a face shell underneath if you want. You can wear a face shell underneath if you want. You can wear a mouth cover if you want. I kind of have a mouth cover. It, it had helped me with my Shattered Dimensions uh, photo shoot. So if you don't know what I mean, go check out the Instagram. And also there's gonna be a surprise at the end. But this is the mask right here. You can see the big giant comic stay lenses. And as I say before, it has a kind of shine with the metal tone. We'll get straight into this now. And yeah, this is the Spider-Man version 2.0 mask. Thanks everyone. 
So guys, for the new updates, you'll turn your mask inside out and lay it down flat like so, and then flip it over to the back. Now what I'm going to be using is some loosely bought zips. These can be found on old sportswear, old school bags, old clothing, anything that has a loose zip on it. So you'll see now I actually just zip it down to about a quarter of the size like so, and then I just match it up and cut it off. So I've actually just cut this zip into a quarter of its size. That is so I can actually use it on the mask. So I glue the top, this is going to create a catch for the zip so that when I actually use the zip it will not go past a certain point. Okay, so I've just created a glue catch for the zip itself, you can see now. And I'll just glue off the top ends also. This is just to make it neat and clean up. But what you're going to do is place this on the back of your mask and make a slight cut up the back of your mask the same size of your zip. So you'll want to find your middle point at the back, place your zip onto the back and then cut the same size line up into the back of your mask, like so. Okay, so you'll see now I just cut a line up the middle, the same size as my zip. And then I'll start to take off some at the sides. So I actually cut off some fabric here at the sides. And this is so that it pulls the mask nice and tight into my face. Okay, so I'm just going to glue the zip onto these sides. Now you'll want to place your zip parallel to the actual lines themselves to get a nice clean line. Okay, so you'll place the line on top of the zip like so. Now this is parallel to the mask, it will make sense once you do this. Place it down parallel, fold it down, and this will give you also a nice clean zip line. Okay, so I just turn the mask inside out, get the other side of where I made a cut, and just glue that to the other side of the zip. Okay, so that brings both sides together, and also now I've made the mask nice and tight to fit around the back of my neck. Also I can take the, uh, the mask off and on without any struggle whatsoever. Okay, so you just place the last pieces of glue onto the zip itself and flip your mask over. Okay, so you can see now, I turn it inside out, I have a nice clean zip line. There is no seams or no glue showing whatsoever, and that is because I placed the lines parallel to the zip. Okay, so you'll see now for your chin, you'll want to put your mask on. Okay, and you'll want to mark out where the mask actually meets your chin. Okay, so where your mask actually goes to your chin, you'll mark that out with a pen, like I did like now. And this is because we are going to make a cut the same way we did at the back up to your chin. Okay, so you can see my dot for where my chin is supposed to be. I'll fold my mask over again, find the middle point, and I'll just cut a slight diagonal line up in the chin. So you'll see now, you'll see a diagonal line and a curve. Another diagonal line and a curve. This can be taken in as many times as you want, guys. This can be as tight as you want. I just did this so that it was very, very tight around my neck and fit perfect. So you can see now I use the sewing machine. This is an industrial grade sewing machine. But you can glue yours. You can use a hand sewing and thread and needle. But this just works very fast using a sewing machine like so. I just place both sides together and put them through the machine. Now you can use glue as I say again or hand sew this. It works both ways. This is just for extra security and durability reasons. The camera keeps falling. I apologize for this. So you see now I just glue up and sew up those lines. Okay, and again up my zip lines, I will sew those too. Okay, so the lines that I actually glued for the zip, I will sew up those for extra security. And yeah, this helps the mask fit perfect. So you can see now guys, me just trying on the mask right away after I did the updates to it and it just fits perfect. Okay, so the zip actually has a bit of a catch to it, but I fixed that afterwards. You can see now I just zip it down and this has, you can see already the definition in my chin and around my neck. Okay, so this is what this actually helps if you make those cuts in the back and in the chin area, it will thin the whole mask around. Now remember you do have to put a zip in the back because you will not be able to get the mask on and off if you do this. Okay, so you can just already see the definition within my chin and this works for virtually all masks and spider masks. Okay, thank you for watching guys and there is a surprise here at the end and there are still more updates. So hi everyone, this is the mask right now. So you can see I have just thinned it in as I said before by just cutting a line down here and I actually took some of from here and here. So you basically cut two diagonal lines just up the middle of your mask you glue or sew those both together. I suggest sewing, it is much stronger. And then I also added in the zip here at the back. Okay, so you can get zips off of old clothing, old bags. But yeah, 
it sits nice in around my chin. I am actually wearing my mouthpiece right now. If I am coming off muffled, I apologize. So yeah, I have a Stayflex or Paltex mouthpiece. You can make it from cardboard, EVA foam, anything that is flexible, or you can just wear a face shell. But I just zip it down here at the back, take it off like so, and this is the mouthpiece. Okay, so I use Paltax guys, you can watch a lot of my videos, I explain much more detail into it. Paltax is used in Irish dancing dresses. This goes over my mouth like so, okay, and it just really just cuts off right at my chin. Okay, so you can see right here, cuts off right there, it goes to a curve around my mouth, to my cheek, down, and then an actual space here for my nose, and then up again, okay? And that sits perfect underneath my mask. But as I say before, here is the zip on the mask that I just added. Now you can get these off of old sportswear, old bags. You get them in art shop or fabric stores. They come very like separately and loosely. And it just gets stuck. So here is the zip again, guys. I actually had to put an actual catch of glue right here. So I just had to put a piece of glue so that actually the zip stopped at a certain point. And it just goes down. So you can see it just stops right here comes back down like that so I've just added on the zip as I say before then I have sewn on the lines that I have glued okay so you can see on the inside here the sew lines or the thread lines okay and they have nice seams so there is no like showing of material whatsoever or glue okay now the sewing machine you can pick up cheap sewing machines at a fraction of the cost of the one I was using they work a bit slower but they get the same result and they actually are quite good hold on so these are the ones that I'm talking about okay now this is a much smaller version of my sewing machine or the sewing machine that I have my one is an industrial grade you can pick these ones up at a fraction of the price for around 80 uh, I don't know 90 pounds I don't know how much that is in dollars but this is a brother Okay, a brother sewing machine, and um, these are cheap, they come with a foot pedal, and they work just the exact same, this one broke on me. So yeah guys, that's something to look into if cosplay is something that you are really enthusiastic about, and you want to make your own costumes, or even do up some of your own. But again, the thin line going up the chin, okay, you can see right there, I will fold it in, like or inside out, sorry. So the lenses are quite big, that's why it's actually taking me some time, they are my biggest lenses yet. And you can see here that I just have the line going down the mask or to the chin point. You see me mark it out on my chin where the mask actually went to. And then I just sewn and cut up right to my chin and then sewn those two back together. Okay, so you just take out the space in between that is just all the bunched up fabric. It's very easy once you think about it, but once you learn the techniques, guys, this will virtually help you throughout all of cosplay and all of costumes. If you can look online and maybe look up some sewing techniques or on YouTube, there is plenty of videos out there. But yeah, this is the mask without the mouthpiece. So just zip that right down. And yeah, you can see I have no Cur uh, curves or creases along my head or down my head or down the sides of my head sorry there is no creases whatsoever it is a nice curve and that is because of sewing and I love how these lenses turned out okay they have that nice shine to them the really nice comic style base to them and yeah this is without the mouthpiece also so you can kind of have that Deadpool moving chin or moving mouthpiece alright but here you can do the profile with the nice pointed chin uh, you can have it just, you know, and you will have that nice curve going around here, and a nice jawline. I love how this mask looks, guys. This is the version 2.0. All you do is take out the space from here up to your chin, and then you also add on a zipper here at the back. So you add on a zipper right here. And that's basically all there is to it. You can buy some masks, you can buy some pre-designed masks and add the eye lens frames onto it. Sorry if this video was very long, but for those who have waited out and spent the time, here is something that I have been working on. And these are the Spider-Man Civil War boots. Okay, so these are actually the Spider-Man Civil War like kind of boot details that I have going on. I have made like a Lycra uh, suck basically, so. Hey,
in America? I don't know, my Winter Soldier? Sure. Winter Soldier. Hi, Steve. Can't take off. Can't, what, what, can't take it off we're on patrol Steve stop it people okay okay so hi everyone uh, this is just like a kind of shout out portion where if you are on Instagram please go follow Galactic Gamer okay there will be a link in the description below they share and he the people at that uh, page share a lot of good cosplays I've actually got inspired by a good few of their pictures Top notch, if Instagram is the place to be, if you want to get inspired by other people, get in touch with other people, just get yourself out there and get your cosplays out there, guys. I've only been new to Instagram a month and there's already some awesome people on it. Okay, so just get to Instagram. Please follow us at Let The Geek Speak. Follow myself at John H. Those links will be in the description below. You will see exclusive pictures that aren't on this page, okay, and on the YouTube channel, so please go check that out, and please go follow us guys on that, and yeah, he's an awesome guy as well, Galactic Gamer, the description will be in the link below, also, there is this, so yeah, yeah, we did a Shattered Dimensions uh, photo shoot, guys. I hope you like that. Please go check out the Instagram for more pictures like that. We have the Flash, we have Red Hood and Red Arrow, we have our Talon, we have uh, Spider Man 2099, our Insomniac Spider Man, all on the Instagram. Exclusive pictures, guys, all posters. Please go follow us and let's grow the channel. Thank you so fucking much. We've basically hit 6,000 subscribers in three weeks. Okay, so a thousand subscribers in three weeks. I love all of you. This channel is just getting to something I never ever would have thought. And I hope to grow it into something much, much bigger for other people also. Let the Geek Speak is not just about me, it's going to be about much more other people. Okay, so let's get that guys going and um, thank you so much. As always, let your geek speak for me, everyone here at Ireland. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, this is on the Spider-Man mask. Okay, you can make this easy and please subscribe and comment. Bye guys.